Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about flex sensor. A flex sensor is a kind of sensor which is used to measure the amount of deflection, otherwise bending. The designing of this sensor can be done by using material like plastic and carbon. The carbon surface is arranged on a plastic strip. As this strip is turned aside, then the sensor resistance will be changed. Thus, it is also named as band sensor. As its varying resistance can be directly proportional to the quantity of turn, thus it can also implement like goniometer. In this video, we will learn about this sensor, its pin modes, its interference with the Arduino and its testing. As I have told you, a flex sensor or a band sensor is a sensor that measures the amount of deflection or bending. Usually a sensor is struck to the surface and the resistance of sensor element is varied by bending the surface. Since that resistance is directly proportional to the amount of bend, it is used as goniometer and often called flexible potentiometer. The flex sensor is designed to be flexible in just one direction away from the ink as demonstrated in the image below. Now we will learn about some of its application. The first application is human machine interface device. Like if we want to design a glove and a robotic hand, if we want to map our hand with the robotic hand, we can implement or install these flex sensor on our hands or finger. And as we move our finger or bend our fingers, the flex sensors would be bent with our fingers and hence the resistance changes which can be implemented or which can be manipulated with the help of Arduino. Thus Arduino changes or notices the resistance change and gives the positive or the respective signals. These signals are interpreted by the servo motor and the servo motor will give its application. The second application of its rehabilitation research and security system. It can be installed in doors and windows. Like if the door is opened or the window is opened by an anonymous person, it can give us the data and we can use this data to give the positive output or the respective outputs. If someone opens the door without us noticing it, the data can be manipulated and can be used to watch the person and hence it can also be used as security system. Now we look at the pin configuration. It has mainly two pins. The pin configuration of the flex sensor is shown here. It is a two dimensional device and a terminal I like P1 which can be like this and P2. This sensor doesn't contain any polarized terminal such as diode or capacitor which means there is no positive terminal or negative terminal. The required voltage of this sensor is activated. The sensor ranges from 3.3 volt to 5 volt DC, which can be gained from any type of interface. This sensor is used wherever you need to test the exterior of a device, otherwise the thing is planned or not. A flex sensor could be used to check door or window is opened or not. This sensor can be arranged at the edge of the door and once the door opens, then this sensor also get flexed. When the sensor bends, then its parameter automatically change, which can be designed to give an alert. This sensor is used wherever you need to measure the bend flex otherwise. Change of an angle for an end device, otherwise any instrument. The internal instance of this sensor alters approximately linearly with the angle of its flex thus by connecting the sensor to the device we can have the flexible angle within resistance of electrical parameter now we will look at the working of flex one side of this sensor is printed with a polymer ink which you can see here and the other side is copper strip that has conductive particle embedded in it. When the sensor is straight, the particle gives the ink a resistance of about 30k ohms 
when the sensor is bent away from the ink the conductive particles move further apart increasing the resistance to about 50 kilo kilo ohms to 70 kilo ohms when the sensor is bent to 90 degree it has the maximum resistance when the sensor straightens out again the resistance returns to its original value by measuring the resistance you can determine how much the sensor is being bent these are some of the basic flex properties it has a variable resistance and the resistance which we can be changed with the help of bend it is available in two sizes 2.2 inch and 4.5 inch now we will look at the connection of the flex sensor for connection we require five things an arduino uno a breadboard a flex sensor an led or 10 kilo ohm and 220 ohm resistance first we will connect our led we will connect the cathode of our led to the ground and anode of the led to the third pin with the help of 220 ohm resistance as i have told you earlier the flex sensor has two terminals p1 and p2 we will connect the p1 to the ground and p2 to the analog output that is a0 and now we will give the positive current of 5 volt to p2 with the help of 10 kilo ohm resistance now we will look at the coding part first we initialize our led pin 3 as i have told you this this third pin has been initialized for the anode and then we will initialize another flex pin that receives the analog input from the flex sensor this in this pin will help us to read analog input and then we will also initialize one value that is integer of type it saves the analog value in the word setup we will define our pin mode we will define the third pin led pin third as output this will set the third pin as output with the help of serial dot begin 9600 we will initialize or start our serial monitor in the void loop we will read the analog read flex pin the flex pin will initially has been given by a0 we will receive the analog read flex pin at the value and stores the values received from flex pin at the variable value and then print the value of variable the value of flex pin will be from 700 to 900 so we need to map our 700 value to 900 value as from 0 to 255 this will map from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 55 and then we will write the led pin as value and then we will write our led pin which has been given 3 as the value of value as the value received from 0 to 255 has been written over led and as the resistance changes our led will grow this video will end here thank you